What's up YouTube? My name's Chance. The channel is Chance Bishops Breaks and today oh we have ourselves a brand new opening here of Topps 2023 baseball. The newest Topps products come out on the market. Came out about came out this past Wednesday, about two weeks before series two launches. So series two comes out June seventh. So I believe that's what, next Wednesday or Thursday, I believe it comes out. All right. Okay. So here's our box toppers. So we have two box toppers. We have, of course, the throwbacks. We have a Claude Osteen 50th anniversary of Claude here. He's got a dinged corner. Poor Claude. There you go. There's the back of Claude right there. I like the manager ones that have like the sideways cards and the 50th seal just kind of goes right over the pictures of the manager's face. So there's Claude Osteen right there. He's going to be our first quote-unquote hit of the box. Uh, each box has one guaranteed autograph or memorabilia card. Uh, we're also looking for some top rookies in this set. Uh, Adley, uh, Volpe, I believe Jordan Walker also has a rookie in this set. Alright, so Moreno... Uh, we're also looking for uh, image variations and errors, high number short prints, um, all of that fun stuff. The new this year's, uh, the cards are in fact listed on the back of if they are an error, image variation, and all that fun stuff. Helps, helps point them out uh, because a lot of the image variations, like the action shot variations or even like just the errors just kind of go unnoticed because people don't pay attention to them and they don't notice them. Donnie Sands, rookie. Uh, Vaughn Grisham for the Braves. One of those uh, the B tier uh, rookies right there you can get in this set. Vaughn Grisham. I guess Michael Harris also has a rookie. Uh, looking for Michael Harris as well. So uh, Harris, Volpe. Walker and Adley rookies are the top rookies that we are in the hunt for. Uh, Will Smith, Nolan Gorman, Kluber, Jaron Duran, Aaron Yandi, and the Bo Naylor. Is that Jaron Duran? See, I thought that Duran, that Duran looks like it should be. Uh, short print right there. Is that Duran a short print? It doesn't have it listed as an image variation. I don't know. They, they, I don't know. Because uh, Heritage does this thing where it's like they make the short prints like close ups or like portrait shots. And then they have normal cards that just look like portrait shots or close ups. So they kind of. Kind of do it to you. We have flashbacks. World population reaches 4 billion. That's a lot of people. Alec Burleson, the rookie for the Cardinals. So always check the backs of these. Looking for anything listed. Nothing's listed on those ones. Yeah, so always got to keep your eye out for short prints and heritage. It's not, a, not the easiest set to find things in. Just based off of... You know, shot types. Good old Jeter Downs. Doesn't Jeter Downs have a rookie card for, um, uh, what is it, the the Red Sox from last year? Maybe, maybe he has a rookie card in this year's set. It might be this year's set he has the rookie card in. Uh, but Jeter Downs now a member of the Nationals. So it looks like he uh, went from being one of the key pieces in the Mookie Betts trade to uh, being the Nationals' uh, holdover infielder. All right, going through this pack. Luis Ortiz, Chase McCormick, Ryan Bello, Dom Smith, former Met Dom Smith right there. Everyone's, uh, everyone in the Mets seems like they really like Dom Smith for some reason. I don't, I don't understand the Dom Smith love, personally. I don't know, maybe, because I'm not a Mets fan, it's just not something I, uh, I realize or acknowledge. Of why he gets so much love from uh, from New York. 
uh, Grisham, Sevy, Casey Mize, Gavin Sheets, Joey Wendell, Julio. We have Lewis and uh, Nathan Avoldi, Mike Mikolas, and Carlos Rodon. Uh, strange how they got that picture because I don't think he's pitched yet this season. He might have done what, a bullpen during the spring training. Right? Did he do a bullpen or maybe he did like a spring training, a couple innings in spring training uh, before his shoulder started acting up? I don't, I don't think he did any actual time uh, with the with the Yankees before his shoulder started acting up. But hey, the dude got the bag and got injured, so good for him. All right, Felix Bautista, Kevin Biggio. So Felix Bautista, one of the, I guess, brighter faces in the Orioles organization, came out of nowhere. Uh, to be their closer last year. I believe they traded their closer. And then they moved him to closer role. And he was the electric. So. Good for him. We have Emmanuel Claus saying Kenley Jansen. 2022 leading firearms. Right? Fi uh, firemen. Firemen. See, firearms made sense because, you know. They throw hard and fast. Stuff like that. That makes sense to me to do firearms. But firemen is a. Uh, the proper term for that insert. Let's see. Alec Bohm's 328. 397 for Geo. I believe. I don't I need to know. I don't. Should have come into this knowing what uh, the high number list is for high number short prints. We have Castellanos. We have all star catchers Alejandro Kirk and Wilson Contreras. Lou Bob and Liam Hendricks. Liam Hendricks uh, beat cancer again, so good for Liam Hendricks. Always got to love a good story like that. Um, but So he'll be back, I guess, with the White Sox sooner rather than later. So they definitely need to turn their season around. They went from, like, division favorites to, wow, this is one of the worst teams and worst starts in, like, the last 25-plus years for the team. All right, Klose, Eloy, Graham Ashcraft, and Logan Gilbert. Good old Gilbert right there. Going through the backs of these looking. I don't know. Some of the, some of the images, it's like, oh, is that an action shot variation? Or is that just... I don't know. I don't know. Uniformity is just something that I don't think... Um, Heritage seems like it has a lot of Straw, Musgrove, Cedric Mullins, and Patrick Wisdom. You know, because it's like you have a good run of them where they're all, you know, portrait based, and then you have, you know, Miles Straw fielding a ball in the outfield and Ben and Tendy swinging the bat. So it's. You keep showing your toes when you're looking for things. I'd say about. Halfway through our box right here. Still looking for our first and only hit of the box. Lyles. Wander. Low. Going through here. Jordan Groshans. Taylor Ward. And Brendan Davis. Jordan Groshans. Wasn't Groshans a... Uh, he was the top prospect with... Um, oh, what is it? The Blue Jays for a hot minute. I guess they eventually... They trade for him. Who did who did the blue who did uh, the Marlins get for Groshans or was Groshans DFA? He might have been DFA'd, and um, the Marlins might just picked him up. But I could have sworn for like the longest time, you know, Groshans was supposed to be like uh, the next big thing coming out of you know um, Toronto, and then just nothing ever came of it. He became like a four A player, which. Honestly, it's one of the worst things that happens to top prospects is when they just can't make that transition. You know, if it's between injury or stability. Uh, you know, becoming a 4 A player is always, always the worst thing to happen. As a Phillies fan, I've seen plenty of 4 A players. Too good for AAA, just not good enough for the majors. Alright, moving through. There he is at David Helsley. Hensley. Hensley. It's Hensley, not Helsley. He pulled his auto out of Series 1 tops. So, 
Good to see him getting a rookie card in uh, Heritage. Almost done with this box. I believe we have one row left. All right. As I got Oswaldo Cabrera. He's got a rookie in this. Forgot about him. Longoria 2022 rookie catchers. Robinson, Oki, Hamilton, and Jason DeLay. Jack Sawinski and Joey Gallo. As a member of the Twins. Is that his first Twins card? It's probably his first Twins card right there. All right. Going through this. Nothing... Nothing special in that pack right there. Oh, no, we have, like, two two rows left. Oh, yeah, I shorted myself a row. So, two rows left on uh, this one. Got Luke Voigt, Ty France, Wayne Wright, uh, Tristan Cassis, rookie, and Eugenio Suarez. See, I like that trade for Eugenio Suarez where... Um, the trade was for Jesse Winker, and Eugenio Suarez was a salary dump. And then Eugenio Suarez, you know, came out and produced really well, and Jesse Winker did not. And then it and then Winker gets dealt to the Brewers. Is that where he's at now? Is with the Brew Crew? I think so. I think that's where he's at. I think it's him and Yelich now. And um, that's Gunnar Henderson, rookie. Adley Rutschman, performance insert rookie. Got Aaron Judge, new AL home run king, and Josh Smith. Good old Josh Smith right there. It's card number one in the set uh, for the um, for the judge. For the Gunner rookie, Adley rookie. Gonna setting all my rookies off to the side. I'll sleeve them up after after the opening. All right, here we go. Going through this pack, we have D.L. Hall, we have Jorge Mateo, and John Birdie, and Luis Guillermo. Good old Luis Guillermo. Didn't Luis Guillermo have like a 15 pitch at pet one time? And then, um, oh, what was it? And then someone had like, I think they averaged like three pitches, you know. No, it was a, a pitcher who only averaged like 12 pitches an inning for like, you know, a couple, a couple consecutive starts, and you know he was like, "Oh yeah, I think I have at bats longer than that." So I don't, I don't, I forget the exact reasoning behind the, behind the statement. Uh, I should probably have guessed, but yeah, I know, I know he's definitely had like fifteen plus pitch at bats. So uh, good for Luis Guillermo for having a great eye, good glove too, I believe. All right, last row of things here. We're looking for our first hit still. Hopefully it's an auto. Wouldn't be against pulling a... Uh, this has a really rough back. Koei Arihara. We have a Tristan McKenzie. Flip it. Oh, that's a black parallel. Tristan McKenzie black parallel. Is that numbered? Not numbered. Uh, Tristan McKenzie, black parallel, not numbered. Put that off to the side right there. Brandon Lowe and Tom Henry. Yeah. Messed up the rest of that pack. Put the rest of it to the side. Forgot to check the backs of them because of the uh, Tristan McKenzie right there. Uh, but nothing in that recent run of cards. We have three packs remaining, so still looking for our one and only hit of the box. Could be a relic, could be an autograph. Uh, Jock and John Carlo, DL Hall. We have Matt Walner, Devers, Justin Turner, uh, Peralta, Tommy Edmond, and uh, uh, Jonah Heim. Jonah Heim? Ooh, two packs left here. So I'm feeling a little stiff. Uh, nope, nothing in this one. Unless it's an auto. Tim Anderson. There's a JT. Nestor. Kyle. Bryson Stott. Johnny Cueto. Jake Berger. Lorenzo Kane, And Justin Steele. Good old Justin Steele. I like to see that one right there. Good old rookie. 
You know, I think uh, between the JT and the Stott, that's our second and third Philly of the box. All right, final pack magic. Here we go. Big autograph, big Adley auto coming in. You know, big red Adley, big red Mike Schmidt auto. I think it's a relic. Rojas, um, Lodolo, Jack Peterson, Brandon Nemo, Chris Bassett. There's a Kyle Wright, little napkin. There we go. Kyle Wright, game used memorabilia. So it is game used, actually, at least. So uh, you just received a Clubhouse Collection Relic Card 2023 Tops Heritage. Uh, this card is not from any specific game, event, or season. So, uh, Tops Pledges, uh, you bring you close to the game and uses it and leading players from past, present, and future. So this was a game used piece at least, so it's better than just player worn. Uh, Yaz and Keegan Thompson. So what uh, Kyle Wright was a was a was he a runner up or he was third place for Cy Young last year? So not the worst relic to get, honestly. Uh, but a pitcher relic for a team that I don't follow. Still not the greatest thing to pull. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy this opening, hit that like button, comment down below. Next time, YouTube though. Peace out, rock on, stay super classy, and we'll catch you on the next opening. Peace.